So welcome to this class. Um, this is the second last class before the midterm exam. Um, so the midterm is exactly in one week, on Wednesday morning. Apologies that we had to move it from Monday, but we didn't have room availability at that time slot of a large enough room, because the room here is probably not large enough to actually hold everybody who would be at, uh, writing the midterm exam. And I want to make it so that it doesn't become ridiculously hard not to look at over your neighbor's shoulder, right? So if you're squeezed in just side by side, then it just becomes next to impossible not to look at what your neighbor is doing. If there's one space in between, you have to make an effort, right? Okay, so the exam time is 90 minutes. We have two hours total available, so probably for the first few minutes, we'll just you know hand up paper and do whatever. Um, those of you who cannot attend the exam, and so this is why I'm recording this on video because I imagine that some people will be watching this from the comfort of their bedrooms or whatever. Um, if you cannot attend the exam because you're at a conference, it doesn't mean you can't exam attend the exam because you forgot to make yourself coffee and get up in the morning, but if you're unable to attend the exam because you're not physically here. Um, you can ask a professor or equivalent who happens to be at that conference with you. It doesn't have to be a CMU professor, but it basically, I just want to have somebody slightly more senior. And we will send the exam questions to that person. Then around that time, or basically at a reasonable time frame, you do the exam there the same day. And that person sends the exam text back to us. And it gets reviewed just as it is. Should you happen to get sick, we'll have to do something else. Um, if you get sick, I'd like to have some evidence that you actually got sick, right? Or if you were unable to attend for some other reasons. So I don't want it to be just an easy way to weasel out and say, well, I didn't get around to study and that's why I decided to get sick. But if you actually got sick, sure, we'll deal with it. Okay. Um, the exam is, I think, what's called here open book. In other words, you can bring pretty much as much as you want to make sure that you, you know, don't injure yourself from carrying too much material. One foot of paper is the upper limit. So all of your source material stacked up shouldn't be more than one foot. I am struggling to imagine that anybody would want to bring more, but I just want to make sure that there's nobody who decides to bring the entire library. Okay. Computers are not okay. Kindles, iPads, cell phones, Android Wear are not okay. Simply because I don't know what else you're going to store there. And I don't know what else you're going to use to actually solve the questions. Because you might just go and post the entire exam questions on Reddit and get the answers by the time the exam is over. Um, it would be quite an impressive feat to do, but I don't want people to be good at that as opposed to good at machine learning. Okay. So that's essentially all that there is about the exam. Well, what will show up in the exam? Well, everything up including today's lecture. Next Monday's lecture, I can't assume that everybody might have the time to study for it. So next Monday's lecture is basically what's going to count already for the final exam. We will not ask things that we ask in the midterm for the final. So you don't have to study anything twice. It might help you if you know it after the final exam anyway, but we will not force you to do that. OK. Um, so that's that. Uh, I hope that helps a little bit clarify things about the exam. Any questions? No questions? Okay, so there are a whole bunch of practice midterm. There are a whole bunch of midterms from previous years. Um, I think some of them actually got posted on Piazza, but um, essentially, um, yeah. If you Google search for midterm ten seven o five, you'll find those links. 
if it's not up on Piazza yet, I can actually post a link to that. Um, ultimately, each year has a different set of TAs who, together with the lecturer, conspire to set the exam questions. So basically, the homework is probably going to be a better indicator of the distribution of types of questions that we'll see. Um, the questions will, we will make sure that the degree of ambiguity is a lot lower. Um, I am not necessarily assuming that you can get through all the questions in 90 minutes. Um, that's a good thing. Because it basically means that, worst case, if there is if there are some questions that are really hard and you're stuck, you can probably look at the others. Okay, for, you know, get, in order to get an A+, plus, it probably helps if you get through all the questions, but um, I don't think it's going to be the end of the world if you don't. And ultimately, we'll calibrate it anyway in such a way that the score distribution is consistent with what the score distributions are at CMU. Yes? I, I hope that we'll get it by the end of this week. Um, I'll, well, you, there should be a post on Piazza by, to, by tomorrow as to whether that will happen. So, um, yes, I hope these uh, these questions will be answered by this weekend. Okay, uh, thanks. Any other questions? Yes? So, uh, on homework, you had often you need to you know, search the terms used in the homework because there is no explanation, whatever, where they appear in the terms so that every. Sorry, so, sorry, I, I, I'm, I'm tr having trouble hearing so you. Terms. Uh, I mean, in homework, we often have to search for you know, something. Yes. You obviously won't have to do that in the exam. Everything, so, so things there are not covered in our courses. And yes. So, yes. So, okay. Uh, thanks. Good question. So, the homeworks sometimes are there to enrich and enlarge overall your knowledge set. In other words, we will sometimes cover things in homeworks that were not entirely covered in the lecture because we had to go through that a little bit more quickly, or you know, so in some cases it's some practical aspects where you simply learn by actually running the system as opposed to just talking about it. Um, you obviously will not have to look things up for the exam, right? I mean, the exam is self-contained, so don't worry about that part. <laughs> However, uh, we will make use of the types of results that we derived in class. So you can imagine that maybe some of it might be something along the form of, well, step through an algorithm, or you know, derive a simple solution, or prove a very, very simple property, or more qualitative things like, well, what, let's say what happens if I add more data to the algorithm? How is the algorithm going to change? or what could possibly go wrong if I did certain things. So there'll be questions of the nature of understanding things. There'll be questions of, along the lines of, well, let's do a little bit of math. There will be some questions along the lines of testing how well you understand an algorithm. Right? So you will be required to think. Rote learning will not get you very far. Um, which I guess is the point of an exam, right? Um, the material covered in the recitation sessions, is it part of the material? Um, no, no. You, the, the recitations are there, to, well, okay. Uh, you will be expected to, to know linear algebra. Yeah, yeah. So, but, I mean theory, yeah. uh, but no, there will not be information theory questions. Um, because I didn't cover it in the main class. Um, it would be very nice to have an information theory question, but I don't think we should have one. Yes. Um, but other than that, yes, you will need linear algebra. Um, 
yes, you should know how optimization works, right? So that's fairly straightforward. OK. Any, yes? Sorry. Um, likely, but not entirely clear. I will make sure we get the room reservation sorted out way earlier than this time. Um, some things did not go perfectly there. Sorry. Um, so that's why we had to move it from Monday to Wednesday. I apologize for that uh, change in schedule. Um, any other questions? Okay. Uh, good. Oh, no, there's one here. Will what? Does the systems lectures? Yes, that's part of the lectures. So, yes, you will. You, you should probably understand a little bit of how computers work. Yes. Um, this was extremely gentle what we did there. Um, but I think it's quite necessary nowadays to know how to do things at a larger scale than MATLAB. Because, well, this is not the 90s anymore when machine learning data sets were uh, the UCI repository and really tiny. Right? So 20 years ago, you wouldn't have had to teach systems. By now, I think it's quite vital to understand, at the very least, a little bit how systems work. Yes? Uh, no, no. So if the equations are not on the slides, you're not expected to have it in the exam. It would help you a lot later in your research career if you know it. Um, but for the exam, what I didn't cover in the, exam, in, in the lectures, I cannot really expect people to know. I mean, there are a lot of links and pointers in terms of you know, other things that you could also look at. And I strongly encourage you to do this to just become a better machine learner. But for the exam, yeah. So th th don't think the exam is going to be a big, scary beast. It will not. OK. Any other questions about the exam? Okay, um, would you mind stopping the camera for a moment, please?